of the vital power of thought and the interior forces in molding conditions and more of the supremacy of thought over all conditions the world has scarcely the faintest grasp not to say even idea as yet the fact that thoughts are forces and that through them we have creative power is one of the most vital facts of the universe the most vital fact of man's being and through this instrumentality we have in our grasp and as our rightful heritage the power of making life and all its manifold conditions exactly what we will through our thought forces we have creative power not in a figurative sense but in reality everything in the material universe about us had its origin first in spirit in thought and from this it took its form the very world in which we live with all its manifold wonders and sublime manifestations is the result of the energies of the divine intelligence or mind god or whatever term it comes convenient for each one to use and god said let there be and there was the material world at least the material manifestation of it literally spoken into existence the spoken word however but the outward manifestation of the interior forces of the supreme intelligence every castle the world has ever seen was first an ideal in the architect's mind every statue was first an ideal in the sculptor's mind every piece of mechanism the world has ever known was first formed in the mind of the inventor here it was given birth to these same mind forces then dictated to and sent the energy into the hand that drew the model and then again dictated to and sent the energy into the hands whereby the first instrument was clothed in the material form of metal or of wood the lower negative always gives way to the higher when made positive mind is positive matter is negative each individual life is a part of and hence is one with the infinite life and the highest intelligence and power belongs to each in just the degree that he recognizes his oneness and lays claim to and uses it the power of the word is not merely an idle phrase or form of expression it is a real mental spiritual scientific fact and can become vital and powerful in your hands and in mine in just the degree that we understand the omnipotence of the thought forces and raise all to the higher planes the blind the lame the diseased stood before Christ who said receive thy sight rise up and walk or be thou healed and lo it was so the spoken word however was but the outward expression and manifestation of his interior thought forces the power and potency of which he so thoroughly knew but the laws governing them are the same today as they were then and it lies in our power to use them the same as it lay in his